What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial for LSPDFR and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to install callouts for LSPDFR. I have two different callouts here selected for you guys. I have the newer callout pack called Puchero callouts 1.2.0 and then I also have 686 callouts 1.5.0.0. Now the reason I selected these two is because I think they are one of the best callout packs to add to your LSPDFR role-playing session. Now the reason I am showing you guys how to install callouts first before anything is because callouts for LSPDFR are one of the easiest things to put into your LSPDFR game. This should be one of the first things you should do before cars, clothes, vests, sounds, guns, anything. Callout packs are some of the easiest things to install into your Grand Theft Auto directory and it's one of the best things to use to get used to going to your files and dealing with files because when it comes to modding GTA 5 you are dealing with lots of files and different pathways. So we're going to go ahead and get started with installing the Kuchera callouts. I will leave links to both of these callout packs in my description down below if you guys want to go ahead and install them. But right here we have Kuchera callouts 1.2.0. This callout pack comes with 31 callouts. So it's easily one of the best things to add to your game because you just get so much and there's so many different locations for each callout in here. So we're going to go ahead and hit the download button right here or at the top. Go ahead and hit agree and download. All right, right there it popped up. Now we're gonna go to the 686 callout packs. Now this one, this one comes with 13 callouts. I think some of them are similar, but it's always the best to have more than one callout pack. You can combine as many as you want running at the same time in your LSPDFR game. It does not matter. It gives you so much more to do in the game so you don't run out of activities. So why not? Might as well just find as many packs as you like, install them. If you don't like them, just delete them. We're gonna go ahead and install this one too. Go ahead and hit download, agree and download. Now we're gonna pull up our GTA 5 directory. If you guys don't know where that is, watch my LSPDFR tutorial video. I will have linked in the description down below. It shows you exactly how to get your directory. If you guys do not know your directory and you are watching this video, you are out of place. You should know exactly where your directory is if you are looking at this video right now. If you don't, you messed up because you just did. Right here, I have my directory pulled up. So go ahead and pull up yours. Make sure you have some white space right here. You're going to need this. So you just drag and drop right into it because that's what we're going to be doing. Now I'm going to pull up the Kuchera callout packs, make them side by side. And now all we have to do is open up the file right in the downloads of Kuchera callouts. Double click that. Now a lot of callouts come with tutorials. Some actually telling you how to do it. Some will have links bringing to a video that shows you how to do it. And in this case, I will be showing you. So we're just going to forget about that. And now you see these two folders right here, plugins and LSPDFR. All you're going to do is click on each one. You're going to click on either one first, doesn't matter. You're going to hold left control, and then you're going to left click on LSPDFR or vice versa. Either way, as long as you're both highlighted, or you can just drag and highlight both. And then you're just going to left click and hold, drag them both over. Drop it right in this white space right here. Do not drop them in the files because you will mess stuff up. Now, it's gonna say replace files in this destination. I already have this installed. I'm just gonna hit the X because I already have it. And in your guys' case, it'll just drop right in. So no problem there. Now to know that it is installed, you're gonna double click on your plugins, double click on LSPDFR, and you will see right here, Kuchera callouts.dll and the configuration settings. Now the configuration settings is how you enable and disable some callouts if you don't like some of them. So all you have to do is double click on that and it'll bring up this notepad right here. And all you would have to do is change true to false, just like this, save it, and there you go, boom. You don't have to worry about that callout popping up in your game. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. You can scroll down, you can see the keys. It's just the default key binds, just like the regular game. So we're just gonna save it, just leave it be. If you don't like some of them, go ahead, change it to false. It's all up to your preference, all customized based on your own experience. There you go, it's installed. You are all done with that callout pack. That's as easy as it gets when installing plugins, callout packs into your LSPDFR game. So now we're gonna do the next one. We're gonna pull up 686 callouts. Now with this one, if you double click on it, you'll have the installation guide. Forget about that. This one, you only get the plugins folder, but it's the same deal. Drag and drop right into your directory. You gotta take it, drag, drop. It'll say replace for me, probably won't for you. So that's fine. I'm just going to X because I already have it. And now to double check that it's in there, double click on your plugins right there. Double click LSPDFR and you will see right there, 686 callouts, DLL and configuration. And you will also have a folder. Um, if not, 
it will probably pop up once you play with it in game some of them are like that but right here you have the configuration settings it's the same thing as the kuchera callouts double click on it you can change your callouts to true to false and then you also have some other extra stuff here if you want the statistics to pop up you can set it to true i left it true uh, i'll actually change that to false because i really don't need that there um, but that's pretty much it. You just installed callouts. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial video for LSPDFR. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss the next videos that I have coming up, plus future streams. There's a lot going on in this channel right now. Keep up with the shorts. I post a lot of YouTube shorts. Watch those. Post two, almost two to three a day. It, it's it's going to be awesome. There's a lot to come in the future. So please stick around. Really hope you did enjoy the video. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.